Hello Martian travelers and welcome back to the Mars Parlor. In today's nail video we are going to be doing some extendo acrylic nails. So I'm having so much fun doing these recreation designs. Whether you're having a creative block or not, it's really nice to be able to just know what you're aiming for and see what you're capable of doing. It's just wonderful to see how artwork can translate from one artist to another and then to see how it inspires you for the future as well. I just love the whole aesthetic and the way that it looks whenever people wear long nails. So every now and again, I like to wear some ridiculously long nails and this is one of those times. The design for today is very much gold and floral and it's giving fairy vibes in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it. I think they turned out gorgeous. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let's just get right into it. and welcome back to another nail video so like i said today we are going to be doing some extra long extendo nails and i did take inspiration from another pinterest photo i found which i thought was so gorgeous i hadn't quite seen something like that in terms of design before as always i'm starting off with my gel base coat already in my nail beds prepped and I'm just gonna size my tips and um, get all those glued on. And for the length this time around, we're just gonna cut off the numbers because these tips usually have a bit of a rounded free edge. So we're just gonna eliminate that and keep most of the length. So usually I would go in and blend these nail tips into my nail beds um, just to make it so they're not showing through whenever you lay down your acrylic and everything. But since these were going to be so long and so thick anyway um, and have so much design covering everything, I just figured I could skip that step and save myself a little bit of time. Now I'm going to be using my favorite Mia Secret Monomer and we're going to begin the application process. Um, in terms of the acrylic powder today, I'm going to be using Peaches and Cream as well as Crystal Clear by Be Beauty Pure. So we're going to start by placing our first bead towards the top of the nail. Then you'll want to drain your brush a bit um, so that it doesn't stick to the acrylic as you're trying to work with it. Press your acrylic from the top of the bead and then you're going to want to brush it downwards. I find it best to begin brushing in the middle of the acrylic bead and then uh, flatten down the sides, making sure that it's not spilled over to the underside of your nail tip. This in my opinion is the best formula for um not having to do not having to manipulate the acrylic as much it leaves it a lot smoother after application we're going to place our next bead somewhat on top of the free edge of your natural nail and then blend it into your previous acrylic and as for the cuticle you'll want to place your bead directly in the middle of your nail bed and then press it to where you can see it pulling up towards the cuticle as close as possible and then release that bead from your brush and let gravity be your friend with this if you angle the nail downwards then you're going to be able to see how it's going to fill in that cuticle space um, without too much manipulation and then you can begin brushing it down and blending it into the rest of the acrylic
so as you can see i am laying this acrylic really thin right here and the idea with that is this design is going to take some layering so i'm laying down an even surface with this first layer of clear acrylic and then i'm going to use some of my green gel polishes from v beauty pure and i'm going to mix those up and uh make some leaves and some little vines and whatnot and then we're going to put more acrylic on top of that and then put more gel and then some more acrylic on top of that i don't know how how uh more concise i could explain that but basically it's gonna give us this effect uh of 3d to where we're kind of like looking through a forest almost or looking through a bush and it's gonna be really cute here I am going in with that green gel polish and um, what we're going to be doing is using different and multiple shades of green so that everything can have a little more depth to it so it's going to seem uh, like you know there's more shadows and more places and then some highlights on some of these leaves and this uh, foliage and whatnot. So the key to achieving the depth within this look is um, I'm not placing all of the foliage and the leaves and whatnot that I want on these nails in the first go around. So this is just going to be like the base layer, so to speak. And then I'm going to be placing or encapsulating with acrylic um, and then going in with another layer of these leaves and foliage. And I'm going to be using more shades of light and dark in specific places just to make it um, look really dimensional.
So for aesthetic purposes, um, it's best to switch around uh, and, you know, mix up where you're placing each design element. So like you can see here, I've got the multiples of vines kind of parallel to each other in different spots on these nails. <clears throat> I've got the different leaves in different spots. I've got them highlighted and shaded differently. Usually the more disarranged that your nail design looks, the more pleasing it is to the human eye. And now that doesn't go for every case because a nice set of solid French tips is amazing, but it's kind of like an either or situation. Um, I don't feel that too often you can mix up a quote unquote messy set and a clean set, if that makes sense. Like, of course, there's the French tips, there's solid color nails, um, there's simple like same design on every nail, same jewel arrangement. But then there are certain things like this where even with jewel arrangement and, and whatnot, you'll want to sparse things out a little bit is the term I'm looking for because that just draws a little more attention and makes it look a little more unique, I suppose, in a way. So here I am putting on that second layer of clear acrylic and I am not taking it all the way down to the cuticle this time. Um, frankly, I'm not even putting any more on the nail bed because I am going to use and lay down a thin layer of that peaches and cream cover acrylic um, just to make everything look a little neater on, on the blend. We're gonna do an ombre up into the clear. Now I'm going in with that darker green to create more leaves and foliage on top of that layer of acrylic that I just laid. And I feel like you can already kind of see what I mean, how it creates that depth to use the multiple shades of green as well as placing it on top of multiple layers of the acrylic. Again, I'm trying my best to um, place these elements where they're going, where they're not going to clash with what's underneath them. So like that darker leaf I placed there really complements the lighter one next to it um, slash underneath it. And don't be afraid to let some of these new designs run through the previous ones um, to cover some of it because it just speaks to the depth of the overall design even more. is when I'm going to use that peaches and cream nude cover color and uh, brush it up into the clear, creating a beautiful ombre effect. You'll want to do this before finishing off with your final layer of clear acrylic for encapsulation so that you don't file into this ombre you're creating or any of the design.
So now as we're finishing off with the acrylic application, we're going to dip back into our clear and then um, it's the same scenario as how we started. You'll want to place your first bead towards the end of your nail and brush it downwards from the center of the bead and then to the sides. Our next bead is going to be placed in the middle of the nail and uh, we're going to blend that down into the previous one. So what you want in terms of the structure for the body of the nail is for it to be virtually flat on top and you want this acrylic to be the same thickness, a uniform thickness from the apex area to the free edge. So as for the cuticle bead concerning an ombre design, um, usually you can file into cover acrylics with no problem. You won't have etch marks after a top coat and whatnot. But if you um, stop at like kind of the middle of your nail bed whenever you're encapsulating and you're like, oh, it'll be okay. I'll just file the nude acrylic at the cuticle. It is gonna show the demarcation line from the clear acrylic to the cover acrylic. That's the only reason why you'd probably wanna avoid that. But as per usual, you want to place that bead in the center of the nail bed area and then press it upwards towards the cuticle. Then you'll release the bead and let gravity pull that down the nail as you manipulate the acrylic's direction with your brush strokes. We are all finished with the acrylic application and now it's time to even out our shape with um, I've got a Melody Susie e-file and then we're going to go in with the hand file to finish off making everything look really nice and really crispy. I forget where I got this drill bit, but it is it has worked wonders for me. Like I use it to debulk my nails whenever doing a set um, before taking to the hand file and then it helps me to drill down my previous sets when I'm ready for a new one as well without too much effort and all that. So it's come in really handy. I've been using it for a while now. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say I got it off of Amazon. That's where I get most of my stuff. But yeah, I'm able to get into my cuticles real close with it and as well as clients without hurting anybody. It's It, it doesn't say that it has a safeguard, I'm really not sure what the yellow and the colors are supposed to mean on these bands, but um, I mean, it it doesn't hurt to use it on the cuticles. It really shaves down that acrylic in a reasonable way. And I just, I just love it. So I'm rambling, but now you can see I'm using my 100, 180 grit hand file and going in to finish up the shapes. Brushing off that dust so that we ensure everything's nice and clean with our gel polish. I'm using V Beauty Pure's gel base coat and I'm going to go ahead and put this down so that our flowers for this nail design um, aren't 
wobbly and whatnot because of course we've got this file down to perfection but in case there are any dips and bumps or any little file scratches it's just going to fill everything in and give you a perfectly smooth surface for any extra nail art So I was having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to go about replicating this flower look. Like I thought it was really gorgeous, it kind of gives vintage and I really wanted to give off the same vibe. So I took a little time to do the pinky before getting back on camera, but I got plenty more footage for them, don't worry. I set out an array of pink polishes and some reds and whatnot. And I'm just going back and forth with um, the lighter and darker flowers, putting three on some nails, two on others. Again, odd numbers with objects um, enhance an artistic piece. So as you can see, I'm going in with this deep burgundy color that I have and outlining everything. And then I'm going to place it in the middle of the lighter flowers. I wanted to keep the center of the darker ones light because it just made more sense in terms of contrast. But look at the way this one is turning out. I really love that these feel like you're looking into a painting and I'm wanting to take that direction more in the future with uh, some of these nail sets because it just, it, it pleases my artistic soul quite a bit to do something that you can almost get lost in, that you can almost imagine a place for, you know? I feel like it's one of those art styles that can make the mind wander into its elements. Like, it can almost transport you to a scenery that gives pleasant vibes every time you look at your nails. I am gonna let y'all enjoy the rest of this nail art, and then we're gonna hop into the last couple of steps.
right we are all done with the flower nail art on these and they already look so freaking cute and this is kind of like a sneak peek of how they look glossy but you guys are gonna love how they look matte this is the matte gel top coat from beetles actually i love beetles gel polish and i love their brand so much i have not yet to try any of their acrylic powder but I'm meaning to do that. Perhaps that'll be a video for the future. But this is a very nice top coat. It's not too runny or anything and um, really easy to work with. But yeah, it brushes on um, glossy. And then I'm going to actually put in a clip to where you guys can see it change in the lamps. Okay, these are so, so pretty, and I was so excited at this point because, wow, it looks like frosted glass. Like, are you kidding me? And now, last but not least, we are going in with this glitter gold polish, also from V Beauty Pure, and we're going to place it on some of those outlines, and the uh, deep magenta color is still going to pop through. It creates a gorgeous base, and the contrast is just, it's so satisfying to look at. Um, yeah, we're going to place some more, like, lines here and there kind of treat it as as though it's part of the foliage i replicated some of those vines and ferns with the gold polish and it just ties everything together i am not going to top coat again after this and i made the conscious decision to just go ahead and put this on last and call it good because um i wasn't sure how the matte top coat was going to affect the glitter in this polish i didn't want it to look too dull so these turned out beautiful it i didn't have any problems with it like chipping off or anything everything was nice and solid so yeah uh this actually concludes the nails as opposed to top coat being the end for our video but i hope you guys enjoyed watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe we're almost at 200 subscribers and i could not be happier like thank you guys thank you all so much if you're a returning viewer if you just catch me sometimes uh I really enjoy making these videos and I hope you guys are having a great time watching them. So thank you again. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Safe travels back to earth. Peace.